Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Abiding Presence. We're going to begin our celebration today with lighting our Advent candle, our fourth one. We'll begin with our prayer. Loving Jesus, thank you for this Advent season. Thank you for the angels that bring good news. Help us to be messengers of Jesus' light and love. Amen. And we'll put our fourth flame in. Our song today is an oldie. Your parents may have learned when they were kids too. It's Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. And the words are on the website. I hope your parents printed them out for you and they can help sing along. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but we are he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sins, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know. And he loved us so long ago, taking children on his knee, saying, let them come to me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. <coughs> yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Our first reading today is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, praise God. He can make you strong by means of my good news, which is the message about Jesus Christ. For ages and ages, this message was kept secret, but now at last it has been told. The eternal God commanded his prophets to write about the good news so that all nations would obey and have faith. And now, because of Jesus, we can praise the only wise God forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you nations, clap your hands, joy, sing joyful praise to our God. The Lord Most High is fearsome, the ruler of the earth. God is king of all the earth. God is ruler of all the earth. Praise God with songs. God rules the nations from his sacred throne. God is king over all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. God sent the angel Gabriel to the town of Nazareth in Galilee with a message for a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph from the family of David. The angel greeted Mary and said, you are truly blessed. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what they meant. Then the angel told Mary, don't be afraid. God is pleased with you. 
and you will have a son. His name will be Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him king, as his ancestor David was. He will rule the people of Israel forever, and his kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, How can this happen? I am not married. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come down to you, and God's power will come over you. So your child will be called the Holy Son of God. Your relative, Elizabeth, is also going to have a son, even though she's too old. No one thought she could ever have a baby, but in three months, she will have a son. Nothing is impossible to God. Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it happen as you said. And the angel left her. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, we're going to do a little craft together. And ask your mom or dad that you can have two paper face masks if you have them. We're going to start, and since our gospel story was about an angel, we're going to be making an angel ornament today from our masks during this COVID-19 pandemic. So we're going to start with one mask, and we're going to start folding it. We're just going to fold it back and forth along its pleats. Then we're going to fold it over in half. I can get that other half to stay in there. And then we're going to pinch it tight for right now. Then we're going to take our other mask and we're going to fold it as well. Come on, fold along. I washed my hands this morning and they don't want to work. Okay. So we're going to take the top end of one of the masks and we're going to fit it into the folded part of the first mask. Then we're going to take this loop and we're going to loop it around several times. You can ask mom and dad to help you with that if you need to. Okay, so it should look like this right now. And we're gonna take the wings Fold them out. Then we're going to go to the bottom of each wing. We're going to put our fingers together there and we're going to pull. So we break just off one loop there. We're going to do the same thing over on this side. We're going to bring them together. And again, mom and dad can help with this. Make the ends meet. We're going to tie a little knot in it. And we have our angel. So 
So all the angels are different, just like we're all different. Now we made angel ornaments this morning because in our gospel reading today, we heard about the angel. That angel has a name. His name was Gabriel. And he's the one that brings announcements from God. So you can imagine, Mary was just a young girl, just a, barely a teenager, when this angel shows up out of nowhere. Imagine how you would feel if someone showed up that you weren't expecting. How would you feel? Would you be a little surprised? Maybe you're a little scared or afraid. Those are all things that Mary must have felt. Because, as you know, angels don't, don't pop in every day um, in people's houses. So the angel, first thing he has to do is calm Mary down. And he tells her to not be afraid. And he tells her that God's real happy with her. And that she's going to have a baby, a baby boy, who she's supposed to name Jesus. You can imagine how upset she was feeling hearing these news. And she objects. She said, I'm not married. How can I have a baby? And here's where the miracle part takes place. The power of God is going to overshadow you. It means God's going to send his power and his grace into her. And God is going to cause her to have that baby. Now, that's the part we don't have to understand about how it happened. All we know is that God, through his power, made it happen. But there's a very important piece. That piece is Mary said, be it done to me according to your will. She said yes to God. And when she said yes, the angel's job was done, and he left her. God is asking you and me today to say yes to the plan he has for our lives. He wants you and me to be the best that we can be. So we need to try to be the best son or daughter that we can be the best student that we can be, the best brother or sister we can be, the best friends we can be. And we can do that by loving everyone. So today, boys and girls, as you make your angel, maybe your folks will let you make a couple of them, perhaps hang them on your tree. But what we want you to do when you pray today is say yes to God. Say yes to anything that God wants you to be, what he wants you to do with your life. Say yes. And God will bless you. Let us turn to our friends that are with us in the house, our parents, our brothers and sisters. And let us bless them today as we make the sign of the cross on their forehead or on their hand. Say, God gives you comfort and courage. Say yes to God. God gives you comfort and courage. Say yes to God. And may God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll see you Christmas Eve.